Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole and I am Makeup Obsessed Mommy. Today it is a makeup video, guys. Um, I wanna show you guys some of the makeup items that I probably been having for probably about a few months. I haven't sat down and filmed an actual makeup video in a while. Probably if you go back and scroll on my channel, you'll probably see it's probably been a few months. So I hope you guys like my I don't want to if this is my new setup, <laughs> but I'll probably be doing something right here from now on. Now, here is majority of all of the new items that I want to show you guys from this new makeup video. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside this little crate, keep on watching. Don't forget if you are new here after you're finished with this video, if you want to consider subscribing to my channel, I would really love that. So now let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, I have a sponge that I got over here. This is the, from Dollar Tree, the Ioni, or is it the Remy one? I forget, one of those makeup companies that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, here is the sponge. I wet it and it definitely swell up, swelled up in size. Pretty big sponge. Oh yeah, it's in here. I got the Makeup by Mario foundation, guys, and I grabbed the, the wrong shade. That's why I wasn't, I hadn't presented it on my channel because this one was a little bit too dark but I might try this one in today's video. Keep looking this way, cause you guys are this way. The Makeup Mario <laughs> Makeup by Mario Foundation. And to try this foundation. So like I said, I got the wrong shade. I got 25W, but this foundation is a natural finish. It is hydrating, medium coverage, liquid formula, and long wearing. This is a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly, effort, I cannot say that word, effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. I am uh, oily combination skin, just if anybody cares. Okay, let me shake this. You guys, wait, I forgot. Okay, I forgot. Okay, I have the keys thing that I wanted to use, but I did want to put a little bit of sunscreen on, but let's use this uh, keys. Ooh. No, I think this is supposed to be like a primer. Ooh. Skincare. Something that you can put on before foundation. If you like to have a ooh, a glowy base before you apply your foundation, you would definitely like this. This is a very, very thin. It doesn't smell, but if you are dry skin, you probably will love this. If you're oily skin, you probably won't want to, you know, apply this, but I'm oily skin and I still apply. And here's how it looks after I have applied it. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna let this sit on here for a second. Okay, like I said, I grabbed the wrong shade, so this might be a little bit too dark. And I'm just going to Ooh, this is a little bit too dark. I'm gonna apply this with a sponge. And I'm probably just gonna be able to be use a little bit. I'm just gonna apply this first and then I'll mix it. But I just want to see how this looks first. Because I know I'm gonna have to mix this foundation. And depending on the coverage that you like, you can apply one pump. I just applied like a half a pump on this side and then I applied a uh, pump on the other side to my face because I like medium to full coverage. I know this is a little dark, but you know, we'll fix that. Okay, I know it's a little dark, but here's how it looks. This is about a pump and a half. So far, you can still see some scars peeking through on this side. And you can still see a little bit over on this side. Okay, I need a little bit more. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to mix my foundation. The Lottie London, this is a dupe for the Dior Backstage. But let me add a little bit more because I can still see some scars. And let me go in. Just go in the areas first. I'm applying them in the areas that I need the most coverage. And then I'm gonna go back in to uh, add the other shade, the lighter shade in here. 
Okay, I'm going to add in this, <laughs> the Lati London, and I'm going to blend that in, blend this in, and I'll come right back. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I fixed it, and I used the Lottie London, uh, what is this, Velvet Skin Foundation. This is supposed to be the dupe for the Dior Backstage one, and I just added like a pump into it. You guys, I'm not going to be able to use this Fenty Beauty concealer because this shade I got is like a little bit too light. Let's see. Here is, this is the shade 345. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can, guys. I thought it was going to be a little bit too light. And so I just applied a little bit in there. This is still a little bit too much concealer, but, you know, I just want to see how this applied. Because I may not be able to use it, but I normally like to let my concealer sit. This is showing up a little bit orange, but I normally let my concealer sit on my skin for a minute because it thickens up the consistency and it's easier to blend that way. Oh, Ooh, here's how it looks on this side. Oh, okay. Not bad. It's a little orange though, but I don't really like it. It's a little orange. Or normally I put some in here and then I'll put some out on the end. And that is still a little bit too much. Alright guys, I wasn't going to use this in today's video, but I kind of want to use it. It is the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. This is in the shade Ultra Pink. I actually have his translucent powder. But I want to try the pink one. Here's how it looks. This is made in the USA. It's 12 months. The shelf life is 12 months. Oh, this is uh, 34.5 grams, uh, 1.2 ounces. And here's what it looks like. You just pull the sticker off. Here it is. Everybody is going crazy over pink setting powder. And you guys, I have a bunch <laughs> of a lot of setting powders like e.l.f., uh, w7 okay and before you set you want to go back in and just fix your under eyes so you're not setting any creases and that's what i'm doing the concealer is not bad it is a matte concealer so if you're oily skin you would love this concealer but i don't feel like it's all that drying under my eyes i mean you can see some texture underneath there but it's not as bad as I thought it would be you go you know what guys I forgot to do a video of my Morphe Aria brushes I'm gonna do that the next time because I keep forgetting about that just no this is the highlighter brush I'll just use this one <laughs> I'll use this little brush right here I had a powder puff it is somewhere so let me go Ooh. oh okay not bad Wow, guys, look at this. Wow, okay, powder side, the pink powder. And so let me set the other side. This powder looks so good, I want to eat it. That was probably a little bit too much powder. The older you get, you don't need to put that much powder underneath your eyes. That's just what's going to Make it look a little bit cakey. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, wow. It doesn't even look like I put any pink powder on here. And because also because this powder is pink, it is also going to cancel out any any darkness. But, you know, but since I am darker skin, it's not going to cancel out any of the tones in my skin. But if you are lighter, it will. Okay, I'm putting this on my nose, which is weird. It just is showing up like a regular setting powder, like with no color. Okay, to set the rest of my face, I need to find a powder. Oh yeah, I also have, if you cannot get Patrick's powder, Elf has one um, in their Halo setting powder. I don't even think I even opened it. Oh wait, I have. Oops. Yeah, Elf has one. It's Laura Mercier powder. This is one of my favorite powders ever, 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 ever. <laughs> going to use this brush right here and I'm just setting the rest of my face 
especially now that it's get warm, it's getting warmer outside. You need to make sure you're setting your phage so everything will stay in place all day. I might uh, bake a little bit underneath my eyes just because now everything is starting to look one tone. And if you are someone of color, you will love this Laura Mercier uh, honey powder. I don't really, I think it's be too dark for pale skin. But if I can get rid of all my powders back there, I have like a couple drawers full of powder. I would get rid of them just to have this powder. I love this powder. Okay, let me go back in because I might need to bake a little bit because this is looking a little flat. Now, as we age, we should not be baking. <laughs> I shouldn't be baking. Eyes are not going to move. I mean, they won't move if you set it anyway, but uh, baking will really make it last. And it will give you a bright under eye. <laughs> W7. This, oh shoot, now this is a shimmery bronzer. So now that it is summertime, you should probably not be wearing, especially if you're, you know, oily. I like to use a matte bronzer, but this one has some shimmer in it. So if you're a grease ball, oily skin, you probably wouldn't like this, but let me see. See? Oh, okay, not bad. But I'm bronzing my skin because I needed to bring life back into my skin. Look at this shimmer up here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I need to get a matte bronzer. This is just one of the containers right here, brushes right here. And I just like a big fluffy brush, Jaclyn Hill. This is in Buns Out. This has a smell to it, it smells like coffee. So I won't have a double chin. This just cuts off, see? Okay, and I think I even messed up the powder powder is probably you can't even see it okay I'm sweeping away that powder under eye I'm going with the eyes and since this is a matte concealer I'm going to go in and just put it on my eyelids and using this as a primer and for my eyeshadow use this brush like here like this because it is flat I'm just going to blend this concealer out. If you have an eyeshadow primer, that's great. I don't, I mean, I have one. I'm just too lazy to get it. But you need to have something down on your eyes. Your eyeshadows need something to stick to. But after this, I'm going to put powder. Set it with the one size regular translucent powder to set my eyelids. I have Mufasa, Pumba. Let me show you that. Yes, <laughs> here is Pumba. We might use Pumba because we're not going anywhere. And here is Zazu, Simba, and Nala. Ooh, this is pretty. Those are really, really pretty. And here is Mufasa's one. Really, we're probably just going to go in between Mufasa. I mean, what's his name? Pumba and Nala on them because I really want to use some of these tones just for an everyday look. Pride's land. Just to see if that shade will show up. Which is not showing up. And I'm just putting this in the crease right here, going back on show what motion. Other eye. And oh, I want to use some of these purples. Wait, here is main. Where is that? Here. Let me use a brush like this. I'm just going to use 
main. Kick back in here. And I'm putting that in the corner right over here. I haven't did eyeshadow in so long, guys. I need another brush. I don't like that one. I'm just brush. I'm just applying these in the inner corner right here. Really see what I'm doing, but that's fine because I'm just going to put like one of these shimmer shades in the middle. And I think I want to use Small World. Which one was it? It's a small world after all. And I'm putting that in the middle. I should have put some uh, powder down. See, or if you wet the shimmer shades, you won't have to worry about as much fallout. But there we go. And that is pretty. Let me do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, I'm back with that. I'm going to, let me see if I can go and just put a little bit under here. Let me see if I can use Pry Lane because I don't want it to be too dark and use Main. But let me use Pride Land. See, let me just do that. Now it's gone. <laughs> okay, I just put a little bit. I wasn't trying to make it too dramatic. Your curling and lifting is a clean vegan formula. I have this shade uh I was about to say bitch black. Pitch black. <laughs> Here is what the wand looks like. And this was very, very, very popular when it came out. Maybe I should set my face. Let me set my face first. Thing spray. Well, it's not new, but I got the uh, Do You Boo setting spray from Give Them Lala. And this is a very hydrating spray. Highlighter, like I said, I could have used the Perfusions ones, but I also want to use these W7 Bronze and Glow Palette. Uh, here is the one for lighter. Here's the one for lighter skin. And here's the one for supposedly my skin. Kinds, uh, three highlighters and a bronzer shade in here, but this, that ain't no bronzer. <laughs> That's not a bronzer, yeah. But I do want to try the highlighters. Okay, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill. Uh, ooh, which one should I use? The lighter one. Yeah, these are really, really nice. I'm going to wiggle in at all of them. And just put a little bit here. Ooh, look at that pink. Oh, that's pretty. I wish you guys could see that, how that looks. Hopefully you guys can see that. I love this. Now let me get on with the mascara. This, this wand is for, I think it said curling and lengthening. And I just like to apply it like I'm putting the coat on the lashes evenly. Now, I haven't tried the, the real one, the benefit one, I guess. But here's how this one looks. Okay, lashes or mascara, no mascara. What do we guys think? What do we guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? If you have this mascara, comment below. Do you love it? Have you tried the real one? 
It's not better than the Voluminous Black Carbon Black Mascara. I think it's L'Oreal. This first shade is in, uh, I think it's Timon. Is it Timon? This one? Ooh, this one's red. This feels like a thick, I don't want to say sticky. Okay, it kind of feels sticky, but not, it's not as, as sticky on the lips. This is Timon. is here's i mean pumba here's pumba and here's timon yeah this formula feels different than their other glosses that they had in the other line to fill my lips out i would have to go back in here about 25 times here is timon and i also have well it's not new but um i kind of wanted to try it because i just bought it off uh, Amazon with a uh, comforting lip color in the shade uh, Taffy Daddy. I kind of want to wear this one. And this is a great like everyday like lip balm. Really, really comfortable. It's hydrating. And I think this is one of their most popular shades. I definitely love this a lot. This is the finish look. What do we think, guys? I think, but what do you guys think of the finish look using all the new makeup that I've been meaning to show you guys for probably the past <laughs> few months? Comment below your favorite item from the makeup things that I use and comment below if you guys kind of like this series when I was kind of incorporating like maybe every few weeks, like new makeup items that I got because I kind of miss doing that, but I didn't know if you guys really liked it like that. But I also have another video coming, guys, that I want to use the Makeup by Mario, the uh, Morphe brushes. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see that. And when this video comes up, probably the next day, I will be announcing the giveaway winner. So make sure that if you are uh, subscribed to my channel and you can enter the giveaway and you have to follow all of the rules. I really want to try this foundation again in my shade because I had to mix it. But I mean, I did like it. But I do like the uh, House Labs better. I like that one better. This pink powder, you guys, I really like this pink powder. I mean, it didn't really look like I had on like pink powder. It looked like I have on regular like translucent or regular powder. So I think I can get away with this. I think the e.l.f. one, I'm going to have to do another video where I'm trying this one in e.l.f. Because I, I forgot how the e.l.f. one looks. But I do like this powder. And I think you guys should grab this if you're obsessed with the pink powders wave that they have out now <laughs> comment below which item that you want to try in this video and i'll see you guys next time hopefully in a few days to announce the giveaway winners bye everybody